There would be no Serena if there wasn't a Venus. Venus and Serena Williams changed the history of tennis when they played. This story isn't just about hot serves and grand slam wins. Sisterhood dealt with both world fame and personal problems. Let's look at how these sisters, who were bound by love, became famous. Venus and Serena Williams shook the tennis world like a quake that changes the scenery. The effects are still being felt today. They were more than just players. They were phenomenons in tennis whites, showing defiance and skill that broke all the rules of a sport that used to be controlled by posh country clubs. As proud black people, they turned the story on its head, questioning the standard and the story itself. They showed that greatness could be made on the less glamorous public courts of Compton just as much as it could be made on the perfectly manicured lawns of Wimbledon. When they came in, it wasn't just a problem. It was a change. The speed of their serves and the passion of their play shook the chandeliers of tennis history. Every time they played, they didn't just score points. They said something. They showed that the future of tennis would be open to everyone, diverse and very strong. They showed that transformation isn't about fitting into a current structure, but about completely changing that structure. To put it simply, the Williams sisters did more than just play the game. They changed how the game is played, thought about, and enjoyed. They turned tennis from a traditional hobby into a stage where talent is rewarded, no matter where that ability came from. By doing that, they changed the sport forever turning tennis courts into arenas of skill, determination, and revolutionary energy. Serena Williams was in the stands, eyes wide, watching her bigger sister Venus destroy opponents on the tennis courts. This was a long time before the Williams family's trophy shelves were groaning under the weight of grand slams and Olympic golds. What didn't I do to try to copy Venus? In conversations, Serena talked about how she and her sister have a relationship that goes beyond normal rivalries and into the realm of pure inspiration. Picture this, Venus, who is only 11, is already a tennis superstar. Not only was it fast, but it was also the audacity and obvious greatness that made everyone take notice. Not only for her friends, but also for her sister, she was already setting a high standard. Who is Serena? She wasn't too far behind. Even though no one told her she had to be, she was. In her mind, there was no way she could live without trying to hit Venus's impossible standards. It wasn't just copying, it was a holy copying. A younger sister who didn't like being in anyone's shade, even if it was someone she looked up to. Their story isn't just about being sisters, it's also about wanting to be one. In it, Venus's high arc is used as an example for Serena to set her own famous path. Each sister became both a mirror and a lighthouse for the other, showing off their shared skills and showing the way to greatness for each of them. Venus set off the tennis world and Serena made it even bigger. Together, they turned it into their own space playground. Venus made it to the finals of the 1997 U.S. Open when she was only 17. It was like she fired the first shot in the Williams era. She was almost there, just an inch away from becoming a tennis legend. The tennis world was ready for her to take her throne. But in a Shakespearean turn of events, Serena was the first person to taste the sweet joy of a Grand Slam win in 1999. It wasn't just a plot twist. It messed up the story. Venus had to deal with a storm of strong emotions. She was incredibly proud of her sister's accomplishment, but she also wanted to win badly. What should a person do when they see their dream come true, but not in their own hands? There is a chance that some people will break down because of what could have been. Venus, not so much. What started as a mix of pride and desire, she turned into something stronger, resilience. Serena's win didn't bother her. She saw it as an obstacle that had to be overcome. She saw it as proof of what could be achieved if you had the skill, the drive, and the guts to dream big. After that, 
Venus not only went back to the drawing board, but she also went back to the winner's circle and won a bunch of Grand Slam titles. That's what makes William's story so beautiful. The Williams sisters' rise to tennis royalty wasn't a fairy tale glide. It was more akin to climbing a mountain riddled with avalanches. They were met not just with the typical challenges any athlete faces, but also with hostile winds of racial prejudice and baseless allegations of match fixing. The tennis court became not just an arena for sport, but a battlefield where they had to defend their talent, their integrity, and their identity. The year 2003 marked a crucible moment, one that could have easily broken them. The sisters faced a heartrending tragedy, the loss of their eldest sister, Yatunde, to a senseless shooting. The world watched, breath held, to see how they would respond. Would they crumble under the weight of this immense loss? The answer was a resounding no. Instead of splintering, their bond solidified, turning into an unbreakable alloy of love, support, and shared purpose. They soldiered on, each victory serving as a tribute not just to their individual talents, but to their collective resilience. And in doing so, they sent a clear message to the world. Nothing could shake the Williams Fortress, not the prejudice of outsiders, not the accusations of critics, and not even the unspeakable pain of family tragedy. In facing these storms head on, Serena and Venus didn't just win matches. They won something far more invaluable, the enduring respect of those who understood that their journey was about much more than tennis. There is no doubt that the Williams sisters are strong, both on and off the tennis field. They have also changed the game in the areas of business and politics, going far beyond what was expected of them. They've had such an effect that they've not only made their own paths, but they've also made them wider for others to follow. Venus, the older of the two fiery women, fought hard for fair pay in sports. It wasn't a side job or a pastime, it was an effort with a purpose that led to a historic moment when Wimbledon finally agreed to give men and women the same prize money. The win was huge, and not just for Venus. It was huge for all female players who had been paid less for a long time. The win for equal rights for women was a home run, and it came from a woman who knows how to break glass ceilings, or in this case, tennis ball ceilings. The other side is that Serena's love of drama, both on and off the court, has made her a pop culture star. She's built a brand that's unique and fits with her sports skills, whether she's on the covers of high-profile magazines, trying her hand at fashion design, or making cameos in music videos. Also, don't forget that each sister now has a stake in an NFL team, which is another important turning point in their story. The Williams sisters are truly amazing, not only for what they've done on their own, but also for how they've grown and changed while also helping each other and the people around them. They've never just been tennis players, they've been leaders for social change in business, sports, and politics. All walks of life are affected by their dedication to fairness and empowering others, which adds to their already lasting impact. Their story is a powerful example of how ability, ambition, and family can bring people together. Navigating the turbulent waters of fame, competition, and life's inherent ups and downs, Venus and Serena have always found safe harbor in each other. Through monumental wins that etched their names into the annals of tennis history and losses that tested their resilience, their sisterly bond has been the bedrock upon which they've built their unparalleled careers. But it doesn't stop there. The milestones of life, both joyous and heartbreaking, like births and boycotts, have only added layers to their already complex and beautiful relationship. Serena often refers to Venus as the only one who truly understands me, a simple yet profound statement that distills the essence of their lifelong connection. As both women inch toward what seems like the twilight of their iconic sports careers, one thing remains crystal clear, their love for each other is as enduring as their legacy.
This love isn't just a footnote to their careers, it's a powerful testament to their shared history, a sustaining force that has carried them through countless challenges and triumphs. Their sisterly love, like a timeless epic, has a universal resonance. It's an inspiring reminder that even as life's chapters come to a close, the stories of our most meaningful relationships can endure, narrated anew by every shared glance, every touch, and every spoken or unspoken, I understand you. Thus, as Venus and Serena Williams gradually exit the stage that brought them global acclaim, they leave behind not just a legacy of athletic mastery, but a timeless tale of love's enduring power. They've shown that if you work hard, have ability, and love your sister, you can not only reach your goals, but also make the world a better place.